Mm-mm. Someone needs to explain to me what James Charles is doing. Welcome to my channel. I am Udoka. Here's my little intro, because this is like a live streaming software. I can't edit it. So I'm going to just play my, my intro for you right now. <laughs> subscribe yes you'll want to subscribe if you vibe with me i'm going to cover a myriad of topics that just caught my eye but first and foremost look at what james charles is doing again this is petty page she's doing if you haven't seen her video don't get confused she's doing like a grandma cosplay but look at what the hell James Charles is doing again. As such, and that is very, very misleading, young man. I'm telling Okay, James Charles is on Bumble. It's like a dating app. And he put his gender as female so he can match with straight dudes again. Like, doesn't that sounds familiar, right? What the actual hell, James Charles? I'm telling you guys. He literally called me. It's really him. It is really James Charles. This bro is, is he's trying to f with me, bro. He, listen, let me tell you this. The only way, the only reason I matched with him on Bumble was because I was swiping right on every single girl that I saw. Every single girl. He literally set his gender as a girl just so he could show up on my page, okay? Anyways, so I, <clears throat> he messaged me. He messaged me on Bumble. And so I replied because I was like, oh, this is no way. This is probably not the real James Charles and shit. So I was talking to him for like a good 30 minutes back and forth. He was just asking me questions. Normal shit, really. And he was just like, oh, where are you from? You know, blah, blah, blah. And then he was like, <clears throat> all right, um, can I video chat with you real quick? So I was like, all right, sure. So here, I screen recorded it because I know people are not going to believe me, which I don't know why people don't believe me. I don't ever lie. I always tell the truth. So um, here, let me show y'all the clip real quick. Let me show y'all the clip. That's me, by the way. Hold up. <laughs> oh, you can't see my face. Wait, my, my camera's blocking the camera. I don't like that. So you can see that he's okay, showing just, his Okay, just my, my face there. is here, bro. I swear to God. I don't know why my camera's blocking it. Now, kudos to James for finally checking IDs like he said twice that he would do and then he never did it. And got caught again messaging minors. But what are you doing, James? <laughs> How do I turn off my camera or some shit? What do I do? Okay, so we get we get Is the I idea. And there's other dudes showing, you know, screenshots of oh, I matched with James. I'm tired. I'm so tired. I'm so, um, what the actual fudge? It just doesn't add up. It doesn't make sense. How are you going to cry two, three times now publicly that you're desperate and then continue to do the same unethical, desperate BS that got you in, in trouble in the first place. Why are you putting that you're a girl on apps so you can match with straight dudes? And here's the other thing about it, too, that's so dumb to me. You go on podcasts talking about how you're trying to find love. You do apology videos talking about you're just trying to find love. And you do this stuff. This is not how you find love. There's a constant theme with James Charles. That I'm like, what, what is going on? Why haven't you asked an older homosexual man for some mentorship? For some advice? Because common sense, your basic common sense isn't working. Here's a common thread that happens over and over. Remember when Tati tried to out him for trying to go with that red lobster waiter boy? 
the, then the boy said, oh, I was clout chasing, whatever. But we still saw the text message conversation. And the text message conversation said, James was telling the boy, you're not bi curious. You're not bi. You're gay. You just need to admit it to yourself. You wasted my time. You broke my heart. Do, 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 do. Then, the, then the story of another boy came out. Uh, remember this when he went to Coachella in this outfit and he went with some guy. Okay. I don't know who those boys are. He went with some guy. Okay. He was trying to seduce this guy. He, he brings this guy with him. He brings this guy with him and the guy's like, you know, basically like, thanks for footing the bill for Coachella. Um, I hope we can be friends or whatever. And James Charles gets really mad. And same freaking thing. You, you're gay. You need to just admit it. You wasted my time. You broke my heart. I thought you were serious about me. You just need to admit that you're gay. Like this is something that continuously happens. It's like James Charles. You claim to want a loving, committed relationship. What makes you think that convincing straight boys to go out with you will lead to a committed, loving relationship? Like the common sense isn't there. And not only do you get played, Honestly, as you should, I don't have sympathy. Not only do you get played, but then you cry about it publicly. It's your own fault. That's what happened. Yo. You, you, you cry about, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I just have bad luck with love and men, I guess. You actually... You have limited your dating options to dudes who don't find other dudes attractive. That's what you've done. You have limited the pool to men who are not homosexual. Like, I don't understand. Because I really think about it. Like, whenever controversies happen... I really try to think about what was, what was they thinking? What was they thinking? I really try to think about it. I really try to empathize and all of that. And to my understanding, I am aware that there are men who identify as straight who do have gay sex. I'm aware. Okay. I'm aware of this. And so it would make more sense to me if, That is what James was looking for. If he was just looking for a hookup. You know what I mean? And maybe he, and maybe he put female so he could find some undercover dudes. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Some DL dudes. That's not uncommon. Um, that's some, you know what I'm saying? That's something that I've heard of. But that's not what James is looking for. He's not looking. He's looking for a committed, loving relationship. And what's crazy to me is, listen, even if you found, even if you got lucky like Jeffree Star and you found a Nate, in case you don't know, Jeffree Star, I I heard that they're back together. I don't know, girl. But Jeffree Star's longtime boyfriend, I don't know if they're together, ex-boyfriend, but he identified as straight and then he met Jeffree Star, and now he's bi, okay? So even if you found this, I just want to understand the logic, like, what may, what gives you the idea that that is a good foundation to base, um, to base a committed relationship on. Like, why would you expect that? Because to my understanding, when Jeffree Star met met Nate, that was not the expectation. It just, you know, mm, we feeling each other, actually. You know what I mean? 
But James Charles has admitted multiple times he is looking for a committed relationship. Why would you want to find somebody who is gay on the DL and expect them to have a serious relationship with you? They're on the DL. Do you know what DL means? DL means they would not want to be seen in public with you. And if you're in a relationship where you can't be seen in public because of your own uh, relationship rules, then that's not a, that's not a real committed relationship. That's not a real committed loving relationship that's serious. If you guys are the ones who decided, no, we're not going to be seen in public, then that's not that's not your bae. That's not your boo boo. That's not your boo. That's your friend <laughs> on the DL. It's like the common sense is not there. The logic is not there. <clears throat> so on top of that, it's like, what are you trying to do? Like, this is, this is kind of weird. This is kind of weird. This is like, like ladies, you know what I mean? When you meet a dude and it's like, dude, you're weird. Like what you're doing is kind of weird. You know, like when a dude is, you know, playing some kind of game, doing some kind of weird tactic to try to get some P U S S Y, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get some P. And it's, and and girls confront him like, dude, you are weird. You are mad weird. Like you are the fact that we met in the way that we met is off putting. I don't want to see you again. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the same thing James Charles is giving for these boys. Like even if a dude was on the DL, it's just kind of like it. It, it makes me. It, it it just feels gross. It feels gross. James Charles is a dog. James Charles is a dog, and I put him to dog. This is not a this is not a oh well. Hopefully he'll change in the future type of thing because now when he first the first time he apologized, um he didn't change. He said oh I'm gonna do this this and this and then he didn't do it. The second time he apologized, guess what? He took back the apology because he de he deleted the apology. It's like now at this point. At this point, you, you're doing what you do. You're doing what you do. And it's just weird to see it at such a young age because it's kind of like, like, you know, when you see kind of warning signs at a young age and you're just kind of like, oh, I hope he grows out of it. But it's feeling like, I don't know if he'll grow out of it. And it's creepy. Like once you get to a certain age and you're doing this F boy ishel, ish, ishel, I mean, I'm trying to censor myself, but once you get to a certain age and you're doing this f boy crap um you're no longer just an f boy you are something else you're 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 something that is even creepier dude like i don't think he can stop i don't think he will stop there's no amount of public shaming there's no amount of there's no amount of nothing that will get him to stop dude it's freaking weird why are you doing this why james charles why why you have so much ahead of you you know, like, and the other thing too is he, he is at this point a celebrity. I mean, you went to the Met Gala, baby. You are celeb status. I don't know, like A, B, C, D, E, F, G list, but you are celeb status. So that's the, and you're more, very popular with people your age. So, so when they see you, so it, when they see you, they are, you know, they're going to talk to you. It's not even like, like if you were just some regular dude and you were doing this and dudes match with you and you talk to them. Like most dudes, like they're not gonna reply back because it's like that's a dude, <laughs> not interested, delete, right? But since you're James Charles, you know they're gonna talk to you because they're gonna be like, is this really James Charles? Like, it, oh, is this really this famous person that I know? Oh, you know what I mean? Like, so that's why it feels predatory because it's like, dude, you know what you're doing. You know what I mean? It's like you know, you know exactly what you know what you're doing. What I'm hoping is somebody will post in the comments, oh, Doka, uh, turns out that was fake. Oh, Doka, turns out that's like really old. You know, that's what I'm hoping somebody will post in the comments. Like what y'all did in my little mix, in my little mix video with Jesse Nelson and talking about the, the black fishing stuff. And I was like, why now? Why now? And then y'all educated me in the comments. Y'all were like, actually, it's not, it's actually not now, which is, you know what? Let me add, let me add that to the queue of what I want to discuss. Okay, let's add it to the queue. 
So James Charles, you are you are on some f shizzle. You are a damn dog. Let's celebrate Chloe for a second. Good job, Chloe. This performance is so beautiful. So much potential. Because here's the thing: there are people who are saying, "Oh, she did too much." Guess what? People said the same thing about Beyonce. And the only reason you would say Chloe is doing too much is if you felt like there was an aspect that was unpolished, which, you know, I don't blame you. But can we appreciate what she's, the effort that she's giving? Because this can be worked with. Amazing angelic voice, hunger, desire, passion, uh, energy energy you can't pay for energy you can't pay for it you can't you can't this is something that can be worked with so just like when they said beyonce you're doing too much beyonce had hunger passion energy so what did she do she refined it she hired the best of the best she surrounded herself with people who are better than her they polished her she's now the goat and we want the same thing for chloe because they messed up our girl Tanache. Messed her up. They messed up our girl Normani. Normani still has a chance. There's still hope for Normani. But our hope is dwindling. We don't know what this industry is doing with those girls. Because they deserve more. But we see it, we see another chance of the superstar. Let's encourage it. And here's the other thing too. Here's the other thing too. When you encounter a Chloe hater, they're actually not a hater. Actually, everybody that I've seen talk about Chloe wants Chloe to succeed. Because even the people who sound like they're hating, the kind of hate they're giving is actually constructive criticism. It's not like Lizzo where they're like, well, she's fat, <laughs> so her music doesn't matter. They actually are giving criticism that can be acted upon to make it better very similar to Dua Lipa uh when Dua when Dua Lipa um when Dua Lipa <laughs> girl when Dua Lipa oh this is just a parody but Dua Lipa got the memo okay Dua, Dua Lipa, it wasn't hate people. If you, if it was a hater, it was actually a fan who was giving something, giving commentary that can be acted upon. And now when we see Dua Lipa, now when we see Dua Lipa, I don't know where it's the performance I'm looking for. Ironic, I gave him love and they end up but now when we see Dua Lipa, we see a more refined product. So congrats to Chloe, and we're looking forward to much success. God, with a voice like that. Mm. Same thing with Ariana Grande. <laughs> Girl. Ariana Grande. Where is it? How come I can never find what I'm looking for? Like I put specifically what I'm looking for, her first performance, whatever. Y'all know exactly what I'm talking about, okay? And then she got refined. Okay. Next, we're gonna talk about. I know it ain't, I know it ain't the stallion. You know it's your girl. Okay. Get in your bag, Meg. Meg, you are completing your college degree. And you're getting in your bag. And people are saying, oh, she's copying Saweetie. Why wouldn't you copy Saweetie? If I was a rapper, I would be copying Saweetie. You mean to tell me, Saweetie, a chick who d cannot rap, her music is... No, no, no. No, y'all are not finna tell me first place I'm coming in last or first last place you first place you coming in last <laughs> you are not going to tell me that this tampax commercial 
loving me. You're not going to tell me this. T- no, no, no. You're not going to tell me people are listening to this Tampax commercial. The Saweetie fans are going to be mad at me. I know. But you know the truth. You know the truth, girl. You know the truth. You can't tell me this person is remaining relevant and remaining in her bag, and I'm not. I would be taking notes. I am humble. I am a lifelong learner. So I could be the best Eminem rapper alive. But if I see somebody like that is remaining relevant and in their bag. Excuse me, when's your master class? I'd like to I'd like to enroll. How much is it? Get in your bag, Megan. And also to so the people like, oh Popeyes. What's wrong with Popeyes? Well what's wrong with Popeyes? Why is McDonald's better than Popeyes? What's special about McDonald's? What's wrong with Popeyes? That that's some hater aid. The people's on by <laughs> well, it's Popeyes, okay? Like McDonald's. Excuse me. <laughs> that, that that's that is what I think of those hater comments. Like <laughs> Like a Big Mac with Saweetie's name on it is more dignified than Popeyes. Get out of here. Okay, well, let's talk about Lizzo's outfit. Um, listen, if you don't like it, you don't like it. You don't. You don't need to try to justify yourself. You don't need to do the, the mental gymnastics. You don't need to do. You don't need to be the. Uh, well, there's certain reasons I don't like it. No, just. You know, you don't like fat people living their best life. (laughs) Just say you don't like it. Just say you don't like it. You don't need to justify it. And if you don't, I mean, there's reasons to not like it, right? Some people don't like a woman showing this much skin, what have you. But for the people who are like, well, okay, I'll be honest. I don't like it because she's fat. Okay, then just say, then just say and own it. Like, I don't, that's what, that's what, that's what I don't understand about people. If you really, if you really feel some kind of way, then just say it. The reason you're not saying it is the reason you're afraid to say this because you know it's wrong. Like somewhere deep down, you know, it's wrong to try to tell this chick she can't wear this gorgeous garment. Gorgeous. Somewhere, you know, it's wrong to tell her she can't wear it because of her size. You know, somewhere deep inside you know it's wrong because if because if you didn't think it was wrong, you would just say it. You know what I mean? Like there, you you ever see a Trump supporter who just says what they actually think? It's like you know what I uh, think you're an idiot, but um, I respect you because you are straight up with what you're thinking. Like if you're dancing around it. You know it's wrong. Okay, no, I'm dancing around it because I'm trying to say it in the least offensive way possible. Okay. There's no there's no non-offensive way to say it though. I don't know. There's no there's no non-offensive way to say it. Just say it. Just say it. Now, as for me, I love it. I have a master's degree in clinical nutrition. I do not want to see no concern trolling in the comments. Concern trolling is one of my biggest pet peeves. What's concern trolling is when you pretend, when when you're saying something negative because you're pretending to care about that person's health or whatever. Kind of like kind of like the situation with Nikocado Avocado. Yeah, Nikocado Avocado, he's like 300 pounds, he's a mukbanger, and people are making videos because they're concerned. Meanwhile, there's mukbangers who eat um, as much as him every day, record it, and even have more followers than him, and they're not saying a damn thing about those ones. Like, just say, just, like, stop with the fake beat. I, I just, I don't know, I just don't like fake shit. I don't like, I don't like, Mm, I don't like it. Like, like, like I would rather you just <laughs> say how you feel. So we know, so we know where we stand. 
Um, but I have no issue with fat. But I don't have any issue with fat bodies. Like, um, it does fat fat bodies existing does not offend me. They they don't offend me. Um, I am what I think we now say body neutral. Like, I think it's just more important for you to live your best life because you exist. Um, and whatever your body is, whatever size it is, doesn't matter. Like, like what, like, why, why should I be mad? Why do you want me to be mad? Well, what? <laughs> Like, why do I need to be mad? Like, just explain, why do, why do I need to be upset? Because there are people who are just upset. Now, the people who are upset because, no, women should show this much skin. Okay, whatever, with your 1800s <laughs> mentality, okay. But the other people are like, well, no fat woman should show this much skin. Okay, why why should I also be upset? Like, that's you, for whatever reason, that's you. Why Why do I need to be upset? Now, people are saying, um, well, she's going to cry about it. She's going to cry about the haters. Why wouldn't she cry? Now, mind you, I am with y'all in that it annoys me when she does cry. I did make a video basically saying she needs to go talk to Lil Nas X and ask him how does he handle the homophobic haters and maybe she can apply it to how to handle the fat phobic haters. Um, it annoys me, but I also want to explore why it annoys me because being upset by people basically telling you to stop existing um, because you have the audacity to wear a dress that you like. Being upset is an appropriate response. Um, that is a normal, appropriate response. Like, why, why wouldn't that upset you? Like, how, how would that not upset you to see, like, thousands of comments like that? I know Nicki Minaj said, stop reading the comments. That's what Nicki said. Okay, but um, so you get notifications because you're trying to engage with your fans and mix in there are haters. <laughs> like even, even me, when I get hit, like I have my, I'm looking at, I, when you post, I read all of your comments so I can engage. So if there's a hater in there, I'm going to see it. You know what, like, you don't, you can't avoid it, especially if there's videos about it. There's, you're on the, you're on news reports. <laughs> so you're watching the damn news and next thing you see your face. So like, it's an appropriate response to be upset. It's also refreshing to see, uh, somebody with so much stature, um, be vulnerable and share how, even though they're vulnerable, even though, yeah, the comments still hurt. Um, they're still going to live their best life. They're not going to let that hurt stop them from enjoying. And I find that admirable. So, yeah, I mean, this is why some people don't like me. They don't like my channel because they feel like I am a conundrum. How can you find something annoying and admirable? admirable at the same time I don't know how to explain it <laughs> like it just introspect I don't know introspect introspect think like however something makes you feel think about why it makes you feel that way and you'll start seeing other aspects of it that maybe you'll realize okay I can I can see why I ad actually admire it but it still annoys me like if I see that she crying I'm gonna be like I roll <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you. I know. So some people come to my channel and they're just so confused. They're just so confused. They're like, but you said you like so-and-so. So does that mean that you hate so-and-so? No, just because I like somebody don't mean I automatically hate somebody else. Like, 
like so many people come to my channel and they're just confused. But yeah, that's my take on Lizzo. Um, I have a master's degree in clinical nutrition. I will brag about it. I will brag about it as often as I want because that hoe was hard and expensive. So <laughs> I will brag about it. And I worked as a registered dietitian, so I don't need to see comment. I don't need to see, did you know that nutrition did it? Not, did you know that obesity did it? I don't need to see those comments. I know more than you. I, I don't need to see no concern. I don't need to see any fat concern trolling comments, please. And thank you. Please and thank I don't need to see if you just, just own, just say what you feel. I don't need to hear no fake. Well, I did a research study and I read this research study that said that, that, that I don't I, I don't need to see that. Y'all don't give a damn about no research study. Now, to all the people who have an issue with this, please stop pretending like you give a damn about a research study. You don't. Because what if I came back and told you there's a certain age group that being this size is actually protective to long life? Because there is. So like, like, like don't, don't go to toe to me. When it comes to nutrition research, please do not go toe to toe with me. You do not want it. And I don't have time for it. Why would you, why do you have time? Go stroke your ego somewhere else, please. And thank you. Okay. Um, let's talk about, let's talk about some smaller channel things. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, here's another big thing we can talk about before I talk about the smaller channel stuff. So, um, update on that on that whole Nicki Minaj, Jesse Nelson, Little Mix thing. Uh, Nicki made it clear that she is roasting Leanne, the black girl of Little Mix. I also learned that in that same damn live stream, Jesse admitted that Leanne... Uh, texted her about black fishing after that song. I love that song. After this, I absolutely love the song. I love this. I like, I cannot, I can't get enough of the song. Uh, I can't get enough of this song. If you really listen to it, doesn't it sound like a song that a K-pop group would buy and perform? I, I I need to learn. I need to learn the choreography. Listen, I need to learn. Hold on. Let me fa let me speed it up. Let me slow it down so I don't get copyright struck. I need to but learn this choreo. I need to learn this choreo. Period. Okay. But um, yeah. I mean. You know, she messaged her <laughs> after they filmed this. So I don't know what's their relationship, a little mix that they don't they don't like her. None of them like her. Uh, I don't think Jesse likes them either. I think she's trying to act like, well, I tried to reach out to them. They just don't reply to me. I think she's just doing that to make herself look good. I think, Jesse, you don't like them either. Okay. Um, I don't know what happened. Like she, Jesse said, Oh, I'm leaving the group for mental health. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. And, and that's what, because on the live stream, I was like, Nikki, you calling her a clown. And a part of me just felt like this is not the right time to be calling her a clown. Like we kind of don't know what's going on. And the more I think about it, I'm like, yeah, we really don't know what's going on. Like, we don't know what's going on with them. Like, this girl is not a clown to me. And the fans have been telling her. Um, Leanne told her at least a year ago. And again, it's not just a tan. Because now Nikki's trying to roast her. Like, <laughs> your friend tans. Your white best friend tans. So you don't actually care about black fishing. Like Nikki, this is a skill, Nikki. Nikki has this ability to act brand new whenever she wants to try to make you look stupid. 
She 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 acts like she don't know what's up when she's trying to defend something she's a part of and make you look dumb. But let it be let it be the other way around because Nikki is very vocal about about uh, microaggressions against black women. I consider black fishing, I consider that like a microaggression. Um, if you disagree with me, you disagree. Like, there's no need to try to debate me in the comments. Like, it's okay. Like, it's not the end of the world if we disagree on that. Okay. Some people think, no, black fishing is worse than the microaggression. How dare you? And some of you are like, no, but microaggression is way too far. Okay, good. G great. Got it. Good. I understand. I understand all the ways to view it. I'm just saying I, after I've thought about all the ways to view it, that's how I personally view it in some instances. The, it really is very, there's a lot of nuance that go into it that that's what makes the conversation hard to have. People want to remove the nuance in this conversation. And that's what Nicki Minaj is doing. Nicki Minaj, you understand nuance. Because when you saw that the Grammys were uh, blocking you out, you understood nuance. When you saw that it was a certain type of person who looks a certain way that was winning over you, you understood nuance. Like you understand nuance all the time. You understand what concerns black women so much so that just recently, you were calling out another black woman who was roasting you because she was trying to educate you on something. And now here you are doing the exact same thing to Leanne, literally doing the exact same thing. You are roasting Leanne. You're trying to educate her on something, which I don't think is actually in good faith. But just, just the other week, you was... <laughs> You will see what I'm saying. Nicki Minaj knows how to act brand new. It's very annoying. So for those who, who don't remember, because it's also difficult for people to find the words for this nuance, it's not just a skin tone. Well, actually, for some people, it is a skin tone. For some people, it is a skin tone only. But you don't get this much outcry when it's just the skin tone you know what I'm saying Nicki Minaj keeps bringing up Jersey Shore well let's look at Jersey Shore girl I don't even know what to type to get the right Jersey Shore damn that's loud and annoying okay she's like look at how they tan in Jersey Shore look at how they tan do you, do you, can you tell the difference? Okay, look at Snooky, look at Snooky. Can you tell the difference? Do you see the nuance? Snooky did not do plastic surgery to, to make herself look more similar to, you know what I'm saying? It's not just a tan, but Nikki's acting like, <laughs> But the girl since Essex tan so dark. You drop the new when you want to make when you talk about these these sensitive issues that have a, a wide range of opinions and feelings on them. The tactic to make people look dumb for feeling how they feel is to throw the nuance in the trash. And I'm really happy that people are calling out Nikki because they see it. They see that you actually know the nuance. It would be different if you were like Pierce Morgan who throws nuance out in the trash all the time. He's such a friggin' idiot. But you are Nikki Minaj. You understand nuance. <laughs> you wouldn't be the queen of rap if you didn't understand nuance. You playing them. Nikki's playing them. Um, and she's playing dumb. I, I don't know what is her relationship with Jesse that she will play dumb like that. Like she did, she loves all these girls, or she did at a time. 
I, what what how, what is her relationship with Jesse that she feels the need to go so hard for her when she does features with somebody she doesn't go this hard she didn't go this hard for Takashi six nine I don't know like what what is what is, what is their relationship that she has to go to bat for Jesse and the other thing is they both of them all of them know it's black fishing like they know they know what it is. So why don't they just say what it is? Why don't they just say, we don't care about black fishing? Why don't you say that? Jesse is never going to let it come out of her mouth because she knows what the backlash will be. But Nikki, why don't you just say that? Why don't you just say, hey, everybody, stop caring about black fishing? Like, why don't you just say, why don't people say what they mean? Why don't you say what you mean? Because if you said what you mean, then we can have a real conversation about it. But if you playing games and playing dumb, then no, there's no real conversation to be had. There's no progress forward as a collective to understand what the hell each other is talking about. So I just wanted to give that little update about this late answer. I thought, I just wanted to give a little update on this. So more stuff is coming out. Like Jesse is girl. I don't know if we can trust the mirror. Some of these UK, <laughs> these UK publication daily mail, the sun mm -mm, girl, some of these UK publications, I don't trust them. I do not trust somebody. So I trust TMZ more than I trust UK publications sometimes like UK but more stuff is coming out more stuff about the relationship is coming out I suspect more and more will come out and I also still feel like this has something to do with her going solo this might be a marketing ploy this might be little makes in use to cause controversy like this now that she's solo all of a sudden controversy I don't know girl just, uh, I'm just always putting it out there that we could be being played for tricks. Okay, now let me talk about these. Let me close this <laughs> on the live right there. Um, so in the little YouTube news, this these girls, the girl to find, they have now relinquished their chokehold on modesty, purity culture, modesty and how you dress. I'm noticing more and more Christian girls are just Christian girly influencers are just letting it go. Um, I've never talked about Christian influencers on my channel before, just because I didn't know if people were interested, but I am very interested. Um, I'm very interested in deconstructing Christianity, especially American evangelicalism. Um, I don't, I, I've, American evangelical Christianity is very unethical, in my opinion. Um, and honestly, like when it comes to churches, like, you know, a lot of unethical stuff happens. But it, this is, um, I don't know, they're unethical in a way that is just really... It, it's um it's like blatantly in your face how unethical they are and something I would like to talk more about yeah I it's actually not talked about enough this couple is the only people that I could find actually talking about girl defines change so if you want us to explore why are these Christian influencers letting go of, you know, their stances on being modest with clothing. Um, I'm down to talk about it. I'm also down to talk about Hello Leash. Girl. Hello Leash is always in some little drama. And I'm down to talk about it. I'm down to talk about Belle Aubrey pastel pink I did a video um criticizing how she 
basically kind of obsessed with Eugenia Cooney and trying to get Eugenia Cooney deplatformed. Um, I'm down to talk about these things. I'm down to talk about these things. These are smaller YouTube stuff, but maybe I should make a dedicated video to it because it's the kind of content where, no, I'm not going to get 50,000 views, but 100,000 views, but I never did in the first place. I never did. So like this small YouTuber stuff is like, there's people who want to see it. They want to hear somebody else talk about it. They feel, they feel validated in their feelings and they feel like justice. They have hope that justice might be served. So I'm, I don't know. I might make a dedicated video to the smaller YouTuber stuff. And I've been paying more attention to smaller YouTubers as well. Um, because what often happens is this small YouTube stuff, it grows and grows and grows so much that it becomes big enough for these main drama channels to start talking about. So I might just let me know in the comments. I read every single comment. Um, okay. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what happened. My thing paused, but that's the end of this video. Let me play this do, outro. Do, do. Okay. Thanks for hanging out. Thank you so much. If you vibe, subscribe. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. I read every single comment. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think of all the things we address? What do you think of James Charles walling out? Mm -hmm. What do you think about Chloe's performance? What do you think about Meg getting the hottie sauce? What do you think about Lizzo's outfit? What do you think about this Jesse B. Messy? Or what did Nikki say in the video? Jesse, all these jelly bitches want to go and get messy or whatever. Like, things are getting very messy here. And Nikki is inserting herself in the mess. Like, I'm still trying to figure out why is she caping for, like, since when does she cape like this for people? Ooh, I'm confused. What's going on? <gasps> Some people think it's to distract you away from the lawsuit against her and her husband. What do you think about Girl Defined? Do you even know who this is? Like, should I even keep talking about Girl Defined and other weird, you know, evangelical Christian stuff? What do you think about Honey, what else did I talk about? What do you think about the little YouTube dramas? The Hello Leash, the Belle Aubrey, whatever her name is. What do you think? Let me know in the comments, like for real, for real. I read every single one of them. I take the feedback. I take constructive and positive. I love it all. The only thing I don't do is F-ish. If I can tell right away if you're a troll, I don't deal with trolls. I'm sorry. Like I, sometimes I'd be like, okay, I got time today. Like sometimes I can tell, you know, when trolls, ask you a question. You're like, Oh, I'm just curious. You know, like they try to ask a question like, Oh, I'm just so innocent. And you know, you're like, no, this is a troll. This is a troll. But you're like, you know what? I got time today. You know what? Let me not discriminate. And you answer them. And then they try to get in the whole, that's what somebody tried to do with me on my other video. <laughs> like somebody on my other video was like, um, I just have a question. Um, <laughs> I just have a question about Jesse Nelson. How come you, like, even if she is black fishing, um, what's her stance on, like, she has to change? What do you think? And then I was like, oh, my God, I already know this is a troll. I answered it. I'm like, okay, I'll answer the question. And then they start talking about stuff I never said. Like, they start saying, well, I think that, and you how can you say and it's like baby i'm the 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 comment you just left me asking me how can i say this and that i actually literally never said those things or referred to them or implied them or brought them up so i think our conversation is over then they tried then they responded again well i think it's like okay baby i'm gonna try this one more time before i block kiana 
the things you are asking me questions about or things I did not bring up, I recommend Google. Like, I can tell. I can tell when you're a troll. I can tell. And if I answer your question, it's because I'm feeling I'm in a good mood at that moment. But yes, but no, but I take, I read every single comment. So please leave them because I, I, I change, I change what I do based on them or I consider, I consider changes based on them. I shouldn't say change girl. And even then some people are like, you told me that you would do what I said. I said, no, ma'am. I said, I would put what you said into consideration. Consideration does not mean I will comply. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Much love, much luck. Peace out.